The perp left her there unclothed out in the woods with her underwear hanging up in a branch like a flag. But he made rudimentary steps in trying to cover up her body. That's something I've always been curious about, Dr. Kalashevsky. A killer's attempt to hide particularly the face. Now, I understand burying a body because you don't want it to be found. But he didn't do a very good job. He was more hiding part of her, hiding her with like leaves. What is the phenomena of killers trying to cover the faces of their victims? In situations, particularly um, when there's a sexual homicide, I mean, I've seen a lot of cases myself where uh, killers do various things to people's faces. Um, I had a case where a guy super glued the victim's eyes shut. And when I asked him about it, he talked about how um, it was unpleasant um, for him to see the victim's face, particularly when the victim was alive. So the motivation behind the idea of not covering the face or covering the face, you know, it really has to do with in that moment, what the murderer is sort of getting out of that experience and what they don't want to be exposed to. I understand. I'm thinking about this little, little eight year old girl and what she lived through before her murder. And then seemingly out of the blue, we hear from an author. <laughs> 